So Meta has just rolled out Llama 2, the game-changing AI model that's causing ripples across the AI world. From chatbot creation to code generation and content creation, this versatile tool is revolutionizing how we process language. With its unique features, partnerships with tech giants, and its aim to make advanced AI available to more people, Llama 2 is truly a standout. But before diving in, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. Okay, so Llama 2 is a free, open-source AI model, reflecting Meta's commitment to open and responsible AI. Since its launch on July 18th, it's become a hot topic in AI world. We'll discuss what makes it unique and why it's a big deal, but first, a bit of history. Meta has long been invested in language models, starting with the Deep Text model in 2015. Over the years, they've introduced models for text classification, translation, conversation, captioning, and speech-to-text. Their ambition was to develop a versatile model for any language task realized in 2021 with Llama. This model, trained on vast amounts of data, was groundbreaking but had its challenges, like high operational costs and some accuracy issues. To overcome these, Meta introduced Llama 2. It's an upgraded version, optimized for Windows and available for free for varied uses. It's more than just an upgrade. It's a huge leap in AI, supported by tech leaders like Microsoft and Amazon. Llama 2 is actually a collection of large language models with different sizes and capabilities. There are two main types of models, pre-trained models and fine-tuned models. Pre-trained models are basic models trained on lots of text data. They can produce text in various areas, but aren't tailored for a specific purpose. Think of them as all-rounders. Fine-tuned models, on the other hand, are adjusted from pre-trained models for a particular task, making them more accurate and fitting for that task. They're like specialists. Llama 2 offers three pre-trained models, Llama 27B, Llama 213B, and Llama 270B. The numbers show how many parameters they have, ranging from 7 billion to 70 billion. For comparison, the human brain has around 86 billion neurons. Llama 27B is small and fast, suitable for most devices. It supports 128 languages, has a context window of 4,096 tokens, and is good for tasks like question answering and code generation. Llama 213B is medium-sized. It works on devices with average hardware and also supports 128 languages with a 4096 token context. It's better than the 27B for many tasks. Llama 270B is the most powerful, but needs high-end devices. It supports 128 languages, but with an 8192 token context. It's great for many tasks, but might be slow or pricey to use. There's also a fine-tuned model, Llama 2 Chat perfect for chatbots. Built on the Llama 213B model, it's trained with over a million human interactions from sources like Reddit. With 13 billion parameters and a 4096 token context, it excels in conversational tasks and can easily swap between languages. Llama 2 works using self-attention, a method of understanding how parts of an input relate. It also uses transformers, a neural network structure made of self-attention layers. Each layer recognizes different input patterns. While the output can vary, adding creativity, it might sometimes be off mark. That's why there are safety measures in place. One of the main goals of Llama 2 is to make generative AI more accessible and integrated for everyone. Meta wants to empower developers, scientists, engineers, and anyone who is interested in AI to use Llama 2 for their own applications or experiments. That's why Meta has made it open source and free for both research and commercial use. Anyone can request to download Llama 2 from Meta's website and use it for their own purposes. By submitting the request form, you agree to Meta's privacy policy and its community license agreement, which outlines some terms and conditions for using Llama 2. Meta has also partnered with Microsoft and Amazon to make Llama 2 available on their cloud platforms, Azure and AWS. This means that you can use Llama 2 without having to download it or install it on your own device. You can simply access it through the cloud services provided by Microsoft or Amazon and pay for what you use. For those who want it directly on their computer, Llama 2 works great on Windows. 
It gives more control and keeps your data private. Starting from 2024, thanks to a partnership with Qualcomm, Llama 2 will be available on devices with Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips. This will allow AI on mobile devices, making it a part of our daily lives. In a recent blog post, Meta announced that Microsoft has been designated as their preferred partner for Llama 2. Meta and Microsoft share a commitment to democratizing AI and its benefits, and we are excited that Meta is taking an open approach with Llama 2, Microsoft said. We offer developers choice in the types of models they build on, supporting open and frontier models, and are thrilled to be Meta's preferred partner as they release their new version of Llama 2 to commercial customers for the first time. So what can you actually do with Llama 2? Well, the possibilities are huge. Llama 2 can help you with a variety of tasks and goals that involve natural language processing and generation. It's a versatile tool designed for tasks like chatbot creation, text summarization, code generation, content creation like poems or stories, language translation, and answering queries. You can even integrate it with AI models for computer vision, speech recognition, and sentiment analysis. For instance, with Llama 2, you can generate image captions using Muppet, a captioning model, or produce voiceovers with Meta's speech synthesis model. Many tech giants, including Microsoft and Qualcomm, support and use Llama 2. Microsoft has integrated Llama 2 in its cloud platform, Azure and Windows, and even in services like Bing Chat. Qualcomm plans to bring Llama 2-based AI to their Snapdragon chips by 2024. Llama 2 is a joint effort, aiming to make AI benefits accessible to everyone. However, with its capabilities come responsibilities. Ensuring its safe and ethical use is paramount. Meta has taken steps for Llama 2's safety, such as testing its outputs and refining based on those tests. They've also focused on data and output filtering to keep the system's responses appropriate. To maintain transparency, Llama 2 is open source, allowing anyone to access, modify, and use it. Comprehensive documentation is available to help users understand the system deeply. Furthermore, Meta collaborates with other big tech names to expand Llama 2's reach and application. Meta urges users to use Llama 2 responsibly. They advise being cautious of generative AI's potential risks and being respectful and transparent about the content generated. This way, everyone can utilize Llama 2 safely and ethically. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments about Llama 2, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos on AI developments. I have a lot more exciting topics to cover, so stay tuned.